All right, so you're considering making a move to South Tampa and you're wondering what is up with South Tampa? Why is everybody in the area consider South Tampa one of the best places to live in all of Tampa, Florida? And in this video, we're gonna cover just that. This is your first time to the channel. We make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader with the True Living Group. And I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. And hey, if this is your first time to the channel, also please feel free to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we make a new video just like this. And if you got to get hold of us, you got questions about the area please feel free to put a comment down below also my contact information is listed down below i got my cell phone number my email heck you can text me you can even dm me on instagram if that makes you feel better i put a, uh, a link to my calendar down there as well so you can schedule a time that works best for you so you don't have to chase me or my team around whatever it comes just know that if you're considering making that loop move and in investing buying selling or relocating in the tampa bay area me and my team here have got your back all right so what's going on with south tampa why is this area recognized recognized as one of the best areas to live. Like if you jump over on a niche.com and I put the link down to this website in every single video we make, because I think it's one of the best resources online to really try to gain perspective on an area. And I use this website when I made my move down to Tampa in 2018, and I would encourage you to check it out as well. But if you go to niche.com and you look at best neighborhoods in Tampa, you will find that a majority of those neighborhoods that show up in the top 10 are in South Tampa. And for good reason, South Tampa has so much to offer from the shopping, to the amenities, to the real estate, to the golf courses, to the communities. I mean, it is just a wonderful place to live. And, you know, it's got top rated schools, plenty of shopping. You've got the uh, West Shore Plaza, which has great shopping. You've got High Park Village, which is beautiful. Um, you know, when you go down to High Park Village, you've got beautiful boutique shopping. You've got world-class dining. Um, you've got On Swan, which is a great restaurant. You've got... Um, uh, the meat market, which is absolutely stunning. I strongly encourage you to do that, but it's a great place to just go hang out and shop for the day. And anyone could really love that experience. And I wanna share that with you. And I also wanna give you a little bit of perspective, right? So if we jump into the map and we look at what's going on with, with Tampa Bay, um, you know, just to the south uh, west of downtown Tampa, you've got South Tampa. And this area here, if you look, you're going to see Howard Avenue and everything below that they refer to as Soho. That's South Tampa. Okay. Um, and you know, when you're looking at that map, if you look all the way over to the West and a little bit North, you're going to find the Tampa airport is right there. So really convenient. Just South of the Tampa airport, you've got the West Shore Plaza, which is a you know great mall, all the shopping you could ever ask for. And then you hit South, uh, Howard Avenue. And everything south of there, you know, that is South Tampa. And on the west side, you're just overlooking the bay. You're looking at Pinellas County. You're looking at St. Petersburg, all these beautiful areas, all this water. It's gorgeous real estate. And as you travel south, if you go all the way south, you'll make it to McDell Air Force Base and the Coast Guard base is down there. So it's awesome, right? We've got defense contractors that live in the area, you know, servicemen and, and women, um, and it's just a gorgeous area. Now, as you come over to the east side of it, now you're looking at the inside of Tampa Bay and you can see Davis Island. You can see, um, you know, 
uh, uh, Tampa General Hospital. You can see downtown Tampa. And if you look on it on the map, it, you can see, you know, if you're in Tampa, you can see how convenient it would be to live in South, South Tampa. You know, at, at the furthest southern western point, you know, you're only talking about a 20 minute drive with traffic to, to Tampa. And it's very easy. You're not even ever getting on a highway, right? But if you live in a Hyde Park, you could literally be in downtown Tampa in minutes, y'all. And this is why this area is so attractive. If you if you come over the bridge from from South from Tampa into South Tampa, um, you're on Bayshore Boulevard. And if you follow that that boulevard all the way down, there is a physical trail like it's it's a running and biking and it's right on the water it's four and a half miles long and it takes you from Hyde Park through Palmasia through Bayshore Gardens Bayshore beautiful Ballast Point all these gorgeous areas and this entire community has stunning parks you know again top rated schools it's a really desirable area. And the, the thing I wanna bring your attention though is if you're coming and you're hoping to get into South Tampa, it's not gonna be cheap, y'all. This is the one thing I wanna share with you. You know, the, the median price point at the time of this recording for a, a three bedroom, two bath home that's 1,900 square feet in Tampa, which is basically the average home here, is right around $450,000. That's the whole Tampa Bay area, okay? So we're talking about Tampa, um, Tampa proper, which is in Hillsborough County. We're talking about Pasco County, which is north of that and then we're talking about Pinellas County which is to the west of that that makes up the greater Tampa Bay area and you know again three bedrooms two baths 1900 square feet that's the the average price um, would be right around four hundred thousand dollars well when you get into South Tampa that number doubles you know if you look at Hyde Park you know again at the time of this recording that says the median price point is just over nine hundred thousand dollars but I'm here to tell you you're not getting in into Hyde Park for less than a million dollars right now that could change you know whenever you're watching this it could be more, could be less, just depends on what's happening in the economy. But because of that, real estate becomes a little bit more exclusive here. So I want you to be mindful of that if you're looking in the area. You know, the price points in the, in the area here, you know, you're gonna be starting in the 800s, depending on where you're at in South Tampa. Um, and obviously we can hit multi-millions. There's a property that just sold for 12 and a half million in the area here, right on the water, boat slip, overlooking the bay. Absolutely stunning. We've got some beautiful homes. And I wanted to kind of talk about what type of real estate you're going to find here um, in, in uh, South Tampa because there's a, a really nice mix, but it's also anchored by some beautiful historic style homes. And, you know, this area was, was, was settled, you know, in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. And you're going to find these beautiful old craftsman style homes, man. This is some of my favorite homes. Um, you know, I used to travel to San Diego and California, and I remember seeing these craftsman style homes and just going, wow, that's really cool. Cause we never had those in Detroit really. Um, and then coming down here and just seeing these houses they're just gorgeous and these neighborhoods are are covered in these beautiful old growth oak trees with spanish moss hanging down and some of them have have cobblestone roads and i mean they just give you all the feels of this historic just lifestyle and and it's beautiful now you will find some you know mid-century ramblers and some mid-century modern houses there as well and then you the other thing you're finding now too is some of these homes just can't be saved and um they were either constructed poorly or it's just you know they couldn't be safe like I said and they're being torn down and you're seeing what what's called a scrape and build right where they tear down an old one and they put up a new one so now you're seeing that mix of modern style homes you know make it in the area as well and the reason I wanted to share that with you is because there's something for everyone in the area right if you really appreciate those old craftsman style homes you're gonna love this area okay the other thing that is really convenient about this area not just the fact that you're you know 10 minutes to Tampa Airport or you know 10 minutes to downtown on average but you also have access to to the gulf beaches which are just to the west um you know and you've got these three bridges that you cross um you know when you're on the south side of tampa you're most likely going to use the gandy bridge and the gandy bridge would take you right down to, uh, to downtown st petersburg and that's going to be roughly about a 20 to 25 minute drive depending on where you live in south tampa you can cross the howard franklin bridge and go straight over to indian rocks beach um which is uh, as you guys know that's where the area i live in um, and that's going to be about a 50 minute drive that's not super close and then you can take the veteran memorial highway which is to the north that's on the north side of the bay and that'll take you all over to clearwater beach and that's about a 50 minute drive as well if you want to hit any of these beaches you can go there because there's no real beach in south tampa that's
that's the one thing I want you to be aware of. There are beaches in Tampa, that, but they're not the white sugar sand beaches that you have in your mind when you think of Clearwater or St. Pete Beach. Um, you know, they're, they're municipal beaches and they tend to get really busy on the weekends, you know, just for perspective. And in South Tampa, there's some parks that give you access to some beaches. Um, you know, there, there's definitely one down in Davis Island, but it's not the same. You're not getting that crystal clear water and that beach vibe that you were thinking of um, when you think Gulf Coast beaches. So what you'll find a lot of times is that people will move to the area. They either live right on the beach because that's their thing, or they live to the north in Pasco County, Wesley Chapel, Lando Lakes, Trinity, Starkey Ranch, those areas because they, they're looking for more of that suburban lifestyle or that they'll live in Tampa or South Tampa where you get more of that. It's, it's neighborhood urban type of mix is what I, if I, if I had to say it best, it's, it, you know, you can walk to a lot of places where you're gonna go, or you've got outdoor shopping and, and it's just really convenient. And that is why people are so attracted to it. When you have, when you've got great real estate values, when you got top rated schools, I can't talk about crime, but all I do is encourage you to go check out the crime map um, and look at all the areas you'd ever consider in the area and stack it up to where you live now. That's the best thing I can always tell people because people call me and they ask me if it's safe, but as a licensed real estate professional, I legally can't tell you that. But but what I can tell you is this, go check out the crime map. I link that down below too, so you guys can check that out. But I wanna give you that perspective. So it offers all of this type of ideal lifestyle, I guess you could say, where you know, you've got access to great, high quality shopping, both high end and you know average Joe. You've got world-class dining and you don't always have that everywhere. The one thing we've discussed in the past is when you get over to the Gulf Coast, there are some great restaurants. So don't let me take that away, but it's not the feature, right? There are a lot of restaurants that are designed to capture the tourist dollar. And as you well know, it, they're typically not rolling out the highest quality food. So if you're a foodie, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be searching for good food if you live on the beach. My wife and I will tend to go to Dunedin because um, there's some great restaurants in downtown Dunedin, which is just north of Clearwater. We'll go to St. Petersburg because they've got a lot of really good culinary options downtown St. Pete. And St. Pete's a fun town to go hang out, have date night in, or we'll go to South Tampa or we go to Tampa Heights. These are the areas we love to go hang out. We have great dining experiences. My wife and I just went to the Columbia in Ybor City, which I would strongly encourage you to go to. It was an experience, y'all. It's gonna take you a few hours. It's totally worth it. They got flamenco dancers, the whole thing. Oh man, it was such a great experience. But I would encourage you to go check that out. And when it comes to South Tampa, you know, these areas, Palmasia, again, go back to niche.com and look at the rankings there. You know, there are so many beautiful neighborhoods there. If you just take the time to come into Tampa, fly in and drive 10 minutes south, you're in South Tampa, you can drive through all of these neighborhoods, check out, see what makes sense. So I'm here at Gandy Commons, which is uh, at the southern tip of South Tampa here. And behind me, you'll see we've got a Publix, we've got a Scan Design, which is actually a furniture store, which is really cool. There's also a Bayshore Fit over on the corner here. Across the street from us, we've got a Walmart. And then back over in this corner, I hope you guys can see it, there's a sign that says Dwell. That's a custom furniture shop that I and my wife absolutely love. It is definitely something you wanna take hold of. And then above me here, if you guys can see this, this is the Gandy Bridge. And being here at the south end of South Tampa, if you cross this bridge right here, it'll take you right into St. Petersburg. So, you know, you are just a stone's throw away from the bay. Um, literally, and and you're only about a 15 minute drive from Tampa if you're at the south end here. Um, and just to the south of us is uh, McDell Air Force Base. So my brother who uh, is in the service, God bless him, um, you know, works on the Warthogs and he gets to come down here and work out of McDell every once in a while. And uh, the other time he's spending up in Suffrage Air Force Base in Michigan. So it's always fun to, to have my brother come into town and, and uh, knowing that the Air Force Base is right there, our, our VAX is awesome. There's a Coast Guard. Um, location there too and it's just a great place to have around. South Tampa is a great place to get out and explore. So much shopping, um, so many things to do, it's worth the visit. If you've got any questions regarding South Tampa or the Tampa Bay area in particular, because maybe South Tampa is not your thing, right? Or maybe $900,000 isn't an option for you, right? The thing about Tampa is there's still an option, there's still a place for you to live and there are so many beautiful places for you to live. So hey, I'd love to know where you're watching from or what questions you have down below. Also, if you have any questions regarding Tampa Bay real estate, you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, 
please don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. Again, you can call, text, email. You can even DM me on Instagram. I've got my calendar link down below so you can schedule time that works best for you. And I would love to hear from you, answer any questions you have about the Tampa Bay area or any other areas uh, in Florida for that matter. I can connect you to a great real estate professional in Cape Coral, Miami, Jacksonville, wherever you guys have your heart set on. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.